Hello everyone, my name is Beckett and welcome back to the channel. And today in Division 2, we're going to be checking out the latest global event, the Cersei League. Now this has a lot of great reasons to do it, not to mention the rewards, whether it's cosmetic or just upgrading our characters through the optimization station, as well as getting those named items. It's also the final manhunt where we can lock the manhunt to take out Fei Lao and get that nice Achilles pulse. But before we get started, if you enjoy the content, hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when the next video is coming out. Now if you guys are new to any of these global events or the mini manhunt leagues, they're fairly easy. They're not really that hard to wrap your head around. We have a few different objectives, especially during the manhunt ones. There are just a few different time trials, but I do want to mention that you have a couple weeks to complete this and generally since we have the global event shop going around, it's generally the best time to wait for the next week for the final week if you have enough time to complete it then just because you're going to get a lot of different extra experience that's going to help you get different shade levels that way you can unlock more name caches optimization caches whatever cache you want to buy from that global event shop you're going to be able to do it at ease now as it goes for the missions and the different time trials we have to do we have to do four different missions for each of these manhunts and we're going to be heading to new york so you don't have to worry about changing any mission settings because there's black tusk you just go over there change the difficulty make sure it's on the right one there's two that are on hard and two that are on challenging they are fairly easy and generally they are not that bad but these ones are a little bit drawn out just because of the missions all right generally i would say just go ahead and head into matchmaking on whatever difficulty is hard challenging looks like we have three on hard and one on challenging but this time i'm going to have to tell you guys i would honestly just try to do the solo it's going to be much faster the scaling is going to be much easier on you because all of these new york missions are very long and drawn out and there's a bunch of different different objectives you have to do so it just takes more time and they really don't give you that much time if you're running in a four person group now if it's all friends you probably won't have that much of a trouble but if you're hopping into a group with a bunch of randoms you may run into some trouble as you can see I hopped into the first one and it was already about halfway through so that kind of explains it but it still was noticeably slower going through it than I would have gone through it if I would have done it solo now ideally you're just going to go through it solo and if not doing a group just try to push your group as fast as you can through it because you really don't have a lot of time on some of these New York missions they can be kind of troublesome now for the other ones it's very easy just kill Riker elites and kill cleaner elites you can either go to different checkpoints and farm them out or just hop into the regular mission rotation and you're going to run into them eventually it's not that hard and you're not going to have to do too many extra elites to make sure you get all the reward tiers now if you're trying to do it all in one week then yeah you're going to want to make sure you kill as many elites but if you're just doing it over the next couple weeks it's not going to be that big of a trouble now generally i would say just go up to tier six get your name cash and you are going to be good to go but ever since the optimization station nerf happened it is actually very worth it to do every cash whether you're doing a gear crafting cash weapon crafting cash or the optimization caches especially the optimization caches just because you're going to get that shade recalibration which is very essential and the weapon crafting and different gear crafting you can always use your blueprints and trade that in for different let's say alloys or if you need more shade calibration as well as we get an exotic cash at tier 9 so if you're looking for let's say those BTSU gloves or a different exotic that you just haven't been able to get to always worth going and doing that of course that named item as well as we have two different cosmetic items we have the backpack one which is a nice little harp as well as the badge that goes on our shoulder the patch it's not too bad it's okay but I probably won't be switching it out for my American flag other than that it's pretty simple just remember on the missions you really don't have that much time and you're probably going to struggle with stranded tanker the most in my personal opinion other than that just get them done I would honestly just wait till next week so you can use that extra experience for the global event show again if you have any questions or tips go ahead and leave them down in the comments always like to try to talk with you guys and answer every comment I can just always keep it civil and you guys have a great day and thank Thanks for watching.